tens of thousands of Hong Kong protesters have taken over several of the main roadways in Hong Kong. It's a very tense. The uh, police have uh, been firing tear gas, uh, batons um, are you know being wielded. They have uh, riot helmets and shields. It's hard to see this ending very well. The students seem very committed. Uh, they're protesting against a proposed law that would make it easier to extradite uh, people, residents of Hong Kong to mainland China, where the legal system is uh, far different. You can see behind me, there's smoke rising. Uh, that's likely uh, tear gas, some kind of crowd control devices being discharged by Hong Kong police. Right now, out here, you've got tens of thousands of people. Wow, you can really sniff. Okay, it's definitely uh, tear gas being fired. Uh, it's a very large crowd. It's hard to see them moving these people very far. So what you're looking at now is an escalation of a protest that happened on Sunday where hundreds of thousands of Hong Kong residents came out and marched peacefully uh, throughout the day. There were some scuffles and rumbles late at night uh, at the Legislative Council, which is uh, the body that is debating this new extradition law. Today, uh, everything has changed. Um, the crowd is here expecting to stay as long as they can and hopefully force the Legislative Council to back down this law. A major X factor in all of these protests is how will Beijing respond? Uh, in 2014, the Occupy movement went on for nearly 80 days. There was a, there was a measure of patience from uh, Beijing and from its local leaders. You know, things have changed since then. What has happened in recent years is that uh, mainland China um, has tightened its grip on Hong Kong and is forcing through a series of laws that kind of beat back on the Western values that this city has embodied and uh, is, is slowly bringing it into a more tighter control of uh, Beijing. Uh, China's leader Xi Jinping was here in Hong Kong in 2017 and gave a very harsh speech saying, well, you know, Hong Kong, you can go on with your own system economically, enjoy the fruits of markets, uh, become rich, but any kind of insurrection, any kind of challenge to uh, the authority of mainland China uh, is what Xi Jinping called a red line. And it's hard to see what's going on around